unfortunately, the judge in this case, Christopher Stark, uh, barred our team of lawyers from introducing the evidence that showed that these investigators were lying. And Juan was convicted three times despite DNA evidence excluding him as the source of semen recovered from the 11-year-old victim and despite the fact that he happened to be on electronic home monitoring two miles from the crime scene at the precise time that it occurred. As you all know, I was recently exonerated for a crime that I did not commit based solely on a confession where they claimed that I gave them information that was unknown to them. The tactics that Lake County used, this is all based upon what I've read on my trial records, is that only I knew certain information, but they knew it as well. And they have records of that, that they knew about it. 10 to 11 different detectives for 26 hours interrogated me, accused me, beat me up verbally until they received what they felt was a confession. The Lake County State's Attorney Michael Waller stated, that's not good enough. Go back, get another one. How is it that a person that's supposed to be ethical that knows the law, stay, that's not good enough. Go back, beat them up again. Not physically, that I know of, but mentally. I was 19 years old with a 79% IQ. I didn't know left from right. Thank God today, because of friends that I've gained, have helped me educate myself, better myself as a human being. Uh, I can't say that I'm very angry. I'm not that angry, but I am angry. I'm disappointed that I lost half my life. I got stabbed twice in prison because of this case. I had to fight for my food, for my clothes, for my manhood for almost 12 years. What kind of life should I have now? Should I be peaceful? Should I enjoy life or should I be better for what has been done to me? You know, this is a struggle that I go through every day. I don't sleep well. I don't trust no one. It's difficult for me to go to a supermarket and buy a soda. Because I don't know if people are going to prejudge me, accuse me, or just verbally just abuse me not knowing the facts. You know, you are here today to listen to an attorney, a director of the state room at Northwestern that has fought vigorously for me. Since the first day I met him, he believed in my innocence. Unlike a detective from Waukegan that states as soon as he saw me, he knew I was guilty. How can you determine whether a person is guilty or innocent just by looking at them? It's impossible. It's like saying that a color is blue and you can actually see it's green. How do people confess? Simple. All you gotta do is keep beating them up. This year alone, 11 individuals have been exonerated from prison, either through forced confessions or forensic science, DNA. That's another thing that Lake County refused to accept. DNA exonerated me still yet. They refused to accept it and believe it. They said that the science is flawed. But why did the legal system accept that as fact? I got convicted three times, went back to prison, and I still moved forward. I didn't give up. I knew that eventually my time would come. And I thank God, this is my first time in the Lake County area. I'm afraid to come to the Lake County area because I don't know how people will treat me, or that I will get pulled over for no apparent reason, just because my name is Juan Rivera. Well, it's difficult for me to live this way. You know, so I'm just here to express to you, you know, that I am moving forward, okay? Uh, I work at Northwestern in the medical research lab. I'm about to attend college.
college, you know, I will not stop living, but I will never forget my past.